Hello, this is the other guy, and welcome to a 001 game creator tutorial over platformers, or I guess advanced platforming. Um, in this video, I'll show, be showing you how to make double jumps and a jetpack, along with a wall jump system and a ledge grab system that gives the player a significant boost whenever they're jumping off of it. Um, the way the system is currently set up is so that the actors don't need to be dependent on what side they're on. Which does make it a little weird sometimes, but it functionally works, so it's fine. Oh, I missed the jump again. I guess I can just jump, jetpack across, actually. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually show how it works. So first things first, we're going to go to the uh, jetpack, or not jetpack, the uh, double jump. So we go to jump, go to edit script. This is the standard jump script that's attached to a... Uh, the normal platformer and all I've done is went and added a variable called jump storage and then compared it and checked to see whether or not it's greater than zero if it's zero it does nothing or if it's greater than zero it does nothing but if it's equal to zero it gives the player another jump and adds one or sets it to one so that the player is uh, continuously what do you call it it isn't able to continuously jump we also have a second control setup which is just uh, I set it to number one for the jetpack, and I also have, on controls, added a new control called jetpack, and that is set to the key one. That is actually necessary to make the jetpack work. We're going to go to the HUD real quick, and I actually set up a timer and a meter for this. So I set it to 0 0.1, you could set it to 0 0.00 or 0 0.01, and uh, it probably would work slightly better but at the same time it would drain faster and it's a whole thing anyway this just checks to see whether or not the players in the air uh, based on their Z velocity and if it, they are on the ground it resets their jetpack and jump storage and then it actually goes ahead and checks the jetpack storage and if it's less than zero it does nothing but if it's not and the players holding the jetpack button it goes ahead and boosts them upward now, I actually use this to manage the double jump system, so I could technically just set up essentially a switch right here if the player wants to unlock the jetpack and have it where if the switch is on, then it will go to the jetpack part, and if not, it'll just check this, like, set it up real quick, just for the sake of showing how this would work. And we'll go ahead and make a switch called... Uh, Jetpack are unlocked. All right, and that should be pretty good. And so if it's on, it'll be right here. If not, it'll be right here, which means now uh, this will reset our, what do you call it, our double jump if needed, and we won't be able to use the jetpack until we unlock it. And this just calls on the uh, jetpack storage variable and has a value of one through 100, so. It's pretty simple. Next is the actual wall jumps, which are done using actors. Um, this is just a uh, 32 by 128 high, and it's a sprite, which I'm going to go to now. The sprite is actually, in, or the sprite slash collision is actually important because this is actually sticking out of the wall, basically, way, the way it is right here. And so if the player touches this part, they're currently colliding with it which is necessary for it to work and the uh, grip one is like this so that you can actually hang on a ledge which that could be done using positioning and what do you call it uh, like an actual system to play animations dependent but I didn't have any of that set up because I just kinda made this quickly so first things first we're gonna go to the wall jump one and it's just a standard I just made it real quick um, we went ahead and set a wall touching the player character event so it checks against if there's another actor touching it and if it's controlled by the player it acts every 0 0.1 seconds you can set that to however much time you want honestly and currently this is for an alternate jump system that I'm use or that I'm setting up and it's just not very well done at the moment I'm going to be doing another video over it once I have it a little more efficient and where it's a little less buggy. I'm trying to set up a uh, proper like bounce back and forth between walls and kind of a super meat boy amount of acceleration where you get really good air control. Um, 
basically this just goes ahead and resets the player's jump storage. So as long as they're in contact with the wall, their jump storage is reset, which means they can hop up the wall. Um, there'd be quite a few different ways to set that up, but currently that's just like the way I managed to get it working. And then we also have uh, this one, which is the same as the last one. And this one literally checks to see whether or not the player is pressing the jump control. And then checks to see if they are, it goes ahead and adds velocity to launch them off of the grabbed part. And if they aren't, it goes ahead and increases their velocity by 5, so they slowly, slowly sink through it. So you're you know, slowly moving downward. And uh, using a combination of these, you could make quite a few different systems. Um, but currently that's all I have. And just for the sake of, I don't know, showing this, we also have this, which is... I'll go ahead and show it real quick. Just for the sake of... I found it kind of neat and... This is uh, one that adds acceleration for a sliding floor. When the player's up in the air, they don't have that acceleration anymore because they're no longer on the floor. And the way that works is simply by setting it up so that... Uh, no. If the player is touching it, it checks to see whether or not the acceleration is set to 0. Point, or checks to see what the acceleration is doing. And if it's equal to 55, it doesn't reset it. But if it isn't, it does set it. And I probably could just go ahead and set this to be like this. I honestly don't know if I really need that branch there. Um, and then this one just checks to see whether or not the player is still touching the object. And if it isn't, it goes ahead and sets the acceleration to zero, which turns off the uh, slide effect. Um, acceleration is usually used in the cars, but I love using it for ice effects. And uh, just, it's, I don't know, it, it has different uses. Anyway, I'm probably going to use that along with a small combination of... Uh, the alternate wall jumping system to create a Super Meat Boy-esque platformer with really good air control. I'm not going to make one. I'm going to do a video over how to make one, I should say. Um, but that will be in the future. So uh, Hopefully this was a clear tutorial. And if you have any questions or ideas for other tutorials for me to do, uh, leave it in the comments. Until next time, this has been The Other Guy. Subscribe if you want to. If not, bye.